Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 31st. This reading will be for somebody, I don't know who. Um, it may or may not be for you. Um, we will see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is daily vibe number four <laughs> for the 31st. The first three were pretty... Um, well, I don't know. I think they were probably... I don't know who they were for. I, I don't know if I'm going to share any of them. I may. I'm going to watch them, and I'm going to make that decision when I get done. Um, they're, they're very interesting. They are very, very interesting. Uh, somebody is moving in a new direction, okay? And, and they're leaving something behind. They're leaving something behind. We have a tower... The first card here was the tower. We also had the wheel of fortune, which we had the day before. Those are both fated changes. Fated changes. The tower and the wheel of fortune is fate. It's it's fated change. Okay, so somebody is about to change their direction in a drastic way. There's drastic, fated change on the horizon. Let's see what comes up for this one. Um, somebody is is dropping something. They're leaving something behind. Okay, and they're they're moving in a new direction, and it's gonna. And then we have the star, which is gonna lead them to something more peaceful. It's gonna lead them to wish fulfillment. Okay, um, but the story that came before it. I mean, I said some things I shouldn't have said in one of them, so I, I probably can't share that one. But anyway, let's see what comes up. What comes up? Let's see what we can get for. I got my my favorite deck this time. Okay, so fourth deck. I mean, fourth time favorite deck we we'll get it right this time because it's my favorite deck so it'll be much easier so we'll find out but I, this is really plaguing me right here so i gotta show it to you i've looked at it multiple times i used this deck for my last one and then i just shoved it over here you know i shoved it over to the side and we got this knight of cups right here so, and I, and I didn't even look at it when I pushed it over, but now that I'm shuffling these cards, I keep looking at this. It's just my eyes will not leave this. So, we got this Knight of Cups. This is an offer of love. This is compassion. This is relationship growth. Somebody's relationship may be stepping it up the, to another level. Now that I've mentioned it, we can move on. He's looking at me, though. That, that guy keeps looking at me. Whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to turn that deck over probably. Most likely. Temperance. The time is now. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. This is the card of divine timing. Perhaps it's time. It's time to come together. It's, it's, it's time for you to receive. This is a card of renewal. It's a card of healing. It's a card of cooperation and compromise. So yeah, we got some... Oh boy. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. Well, I saw it earlier. So yeah, there's, there's some sort of um, change in direction. I mean, this is a life change. Somebody has evolved. That's what this is. Somebody's, somebody is not the same person that they used to be. And it's time to come together, you know, to... receive this is that's a card of peace okay somebody is is receiving something okay the time is now somebody has been patiently waiting for something and now it's time whatever that is justice right underneath it well that makes sense that is, that makes sense. It's time. It's time to receive. It's time for, to, for you to receive the balance that you have been seeking. Somebody has been seeking balance. And here we go. These are both cards of balance. They have been in an emotionally unfulfilling situation. They may have allowed themselves to stay a victim of whatever that circumstance was. 
but now it's time. Now it's time to bring balance. Now it's time for you to receive. Now it's time for you to make that decision, whatever it is. Mm, somebody's been watching. King of Swords reversed. <laughs> well, overwhelmed. We have somebody here that's been overwhelmed, overworked, a lot of resp overwhelmed with responsibilities, carrying a lot of baggage, carrying a huge burden on their back or, or within them, you know, carrying huge burdens. Yeah, there's that star I was talking about. Not wish fulfillment, wish ful these are both wish fulfillment. Somebody is receiving some sort of reward for the emotional discontent that they have been in. This is a wish. This is a, this is heaven sent. The last this is pretty much gonna go over the last reading that I just did. This is heaven sent. This is a this is. This is a blessing. This is a gift from above. This is for the suffering. For the suffering that somebody has been through, they are receiving some sort of gift, some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of justice. Somebody was in a situation where they probably weren't loved. And they stayed in that circumstance. They allowed themselves to be a victim. I don't know why. Because of their own insecurities. Maybe they had something to prove. Ooh, lovers reversed, false contract. Somebody who has been in a false contract. Somebody was in a contract that where it just wasn't meant to be, right? And they've changed, they've changed, and they realize that it wasn't meant to be. It's like they do. Oh, well, we got the King of Cups reversed. We got somebody here that is withdrawing. They are emotionally withdrawing from a false contract to go after wish fulfillment. It's overwhelmed them. It's burdened them. It has burdened them. It's caused them a lot of discontent. Somebody has been overwhelmed with... I don't know, heaviness? Somebody has been overwhelmed because they've been in, in like a, a loveless situation. And I think now, now they are hoping for something better and they're, they're probably making a cut. It's like we have somebody here that is making, this guy is making a cut of some sort. There could be a conflict. There could be a conflict, seriously, that comes about that causes somebody to withdraw completely. Because it's just not compatible. It's not compatible. It's not meant to be. And there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. There's an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity to basically have it all. And this is making the decision to go after happiness. The time is now. The time is now to decide to go after happiness. So somebody is making a decision right now to go after happiness and to bring peace and harmony back to their life. This is a card of healing. It's a card of hope. It's a card of inspiration. It's a card of renewal. This is a card of renewal. Somebody is going through some sort of renewal. It's almost like a transformation. And now they have this opportunity to get exactly what they deserve. And it's after they deal with some sort of conflict over a false contract. Because this is a contract. And this is, this is, this is a new contract. So I think we have somebody here that is making a decision to break free from a false contract and perhaps start a new one. Now we have a, this person doesn't have, we have somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. I'm just being honest with you. We do have somebody here that does not have good intentions. It's like it's not love. It's not love. This person may abuse, be abusive. This person may be neglectful. This person may not know how to communicate or doesn't communicate. Only communicates when they want something.
And this is the truth. Okay, so this is the truth being revealed. This is the truth coming out. <laughs> Interesting. So we got somebody here that... Now this is also, this card can mean being left out in the cold. Somebody may be feeling overwhelmed because they feel like they have been left out in the cold. Maybe they're feeling overwhelmed because they feel like they're not loved. And they're looking for wish fulfillment, you know. They're hoping for the best. They're hoping to receive justice. They're hoping, you know, that this person is being honest and just with them. But i got to be honest with you. You could be dealing with somebody who's not. We got somebody over here that probably is not being completely honest about a partnership. They're probably, it's probably not about love. We got somebody over here that may be holding on to it, hoping that it will lead to wish fulfillment. That's exactly what this is. Hoping that it's love. Hoping that this person loves them. Mm hmm Yeah, we got somebody here that has made a decision or they're, ma they've, they're making a decision. They've made a decision. There's a, there's, a, there's a incompatible union here. There's a partnership that is not meant to be. And somebody has made a decision. To find their strength and their confidence and their courage. I think to, you know, drop it. Yeah, somebody's been clinging. Somebody's been clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. Somebody may have been hoping for a reunion or hoping that things were going to work out, but... You know, I feel like we have somebody here that may have been divinely guided that it's, it's time to, you know, wake up. You know, it's time to wake up. It's time to bring peace back to your life. It's time to go after what you deserve. It's time to let go of this past. It's time to let go of the partnership that is not compatible, where there's, where there's you know, ghosting or being left out in the cold or, you know, it's, you, need to, you need to restrain yourself. You need to find your confidence. You need to find your discipline. You need to find your courage to you know, heal and go after what you deserve, you know, go after the wish fulfillment that you deserve, let go of this burden, let go of this baggage, you know, there's an opportunity here to, to, you know, get exactly what you deserve to, to, you know, get something, some sort of blessing if you can Allow yourself to evolve, accept that you have evolved, accept that the situation has, has changed, you know, commit yourself to making a decision and sticking to it, commit yourself to, you know, choosing the better option instead of holding on to the lost love or holding on to the one that isn't reciprocating. Okay, because there's a there's a partnership here that somebody is committed to. Okay, this is the commitment. <laughs> somebody is committed to a false contract. Okay, there's there's no coming together with this person. I gotta be honest with you. It's not meant to be. I mean I can't make that up. And it's like they keep looking back at it. They keep looking back, looking back, looking back, almost like stalkerish, right? With that page of swords reversed, you know? And it's like they're only hurting themselves by looking back when they should be choosing the better option. Anyway, this is a message coming in. This is good news coming in. So we, we could have somebody here that is deciding to take a new approach just like they're finding that confidence and their courage to this is take that new adventure take that new road 
somebody could be receiving a message of some sort and that you know I'm I'm ready uh, you know this is a this is a loving message this is a welcome unexpected message somebody is receiving a message from somebody could be somebody that ghosted them I mean it could go that way it could go that way somebody that ghosted them somebody that left them in the cold this person's been completely overwhelmed and now they want to heal the situation it could go that way there's been a contract here. I think it's a false contract, but you never know. You never know. Maybe this person is letting go of a false contract because... I don't know. Maybe they're letting go of a false contract and they're making a decision to go after, you know, whatever their, their intuition, their inner guide has told them to do. Somebody is letting go of a false contract and I think they're opening their their heart in a new direction okay that's what we got here that is what we got here I'm going after the one that I deserve there's been some sort of loss though maybe there's a loss of friendship or there's a loss of love so there's some there could have been a third party there was probably a third party situation and third party situation is when you basically are involved with two people whether you're sleeping with them or not It's like somebody is making a choice. Somebody is making a choice to commit to one. But I think what they have to do is they have to, they have to, what I think is going on here is we have somebody here that is withdrawing and they're cutting somebody out and they're making a decision to go in a new direction. Something has been hidden. Somebody has been hiding their true feelings. They've been hiding. They've been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. But now it's like they see the truth. Somebody's been in a un, in an unrequited love situation, and it's like they've had some sort of rude awakening. They've had some sort of wake up. They've been they've been overwhelmed. They've been overwhelmed with carrying this, and I feel like we got somebody here that is is willing. They're ready to let go. They're ready to let go and go after wish fulfillment. So that's what I see. It. This some I think somebody is has been divinely guided with this hierophant card. To speak their truth. Somebody is receiving a message. A loving message. An exciting message. Somebody is about to act with integrity. The four of wands reversed. It's, it's great. This is this is an unexpected fortune. This is a relationship that is about to become more committed. This is a relationship that is about to become more committed. Two people are coming together that are are very well suited for each other. There's been some problems. There has. There's been ghosting. There's been lack of reciprocation. There may have been another person in the middle. Monkey in the middle. And now I have some, I think that I see somebody here that is ready to bring balance back to a situation and act with integrity and follow their heart into some sort of commitment. These are both cards of commitment. They've been hiding their true feelings, but I don't think they can hide them anymore. So this is, we got a welcome, we got a welcome message coming in. It's a, it's a wish, Some, it's like a wish is being granted. Somebody's wish is being granted. And this is a suitor that is very well suited for you. Somebody that is very, very well suited for you. But it's after getting out of an unrequited love situation. So I think I think we have one person that is leaving the wrong one and headed towards the right one. And that's what I see on the bottom. You know, being responsible, being practical, doing the right thing.
this person is very devoted, this person is a hard worker, this per person is very generous and nurturing, down to earth, sensual, capable, abundant. She has a lot to offer. So this does make sense, this Knight of Cups. Somebody is coming in with an offer of love. That's what we got going on here. It's like the time is now. You may have been waiting for it. You may have wished for it. And here it is. We got love on the table here. We do got love on the table here. And I think what, what, what it is is somebody has, you know, withdrawn, withdrew from the wrong one. They were hiding their feelings. They were burying their true feelings, avoiding their feelings. I don't think they're avoidable. I don't think you can avoid them, though. I, don't, I think it's unavoidable. And that's with that tower as well. I mean, somebody's been trying to avoid, but they can't. It's unavoidable. And that tower, it's like there's some sort of shakeup. And it could be internal disruption with the tower. Some, and it, there's a big heaviness here. There is. Somebody has been overwhelmed with their choices. Put it that way. There's been a loss. There's been a loss of friendship. There's been a loss of love. And it's like, I want love. I want peace. I want abundance. I want happiness. And I have to let you go to go get it. And that's what I see. Let's get one of these or two. Oh, well, imagine that. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I don't know. I don't know. Now this could be somebody from the this could be a past life reconciliation. Somebody that you've known before could be somebody that you knew years ago. This is a reconciliation. This is something that is meant to be. This is a this is a deep bond that is coming together. So expect expect a message from somebody or expect a forward movement. Um <laughs> it's something that you have wished for. Okay, this is a dream come true. This is wish. This is a wish being granted. Somebody's wish is being granted. We have a relationship that is coming together. There's a reason. This is the purpose. You think of that song, the reason I had <coughs> shared a long time ago. This is the reason. This is a card of purpose. It's a card. There's a reason why things don't work out. There's a reason why... Um, we have to wait so that people can change, so that people can evolve. There's a reason why we come together with people at certain times, you know. So anyway, I feel like the time is now. Somebody is about to receive an offer of love from somebody that they have known before. And we cannot make that up. We got the Six of Cups here as well. So we do. We have an offer of love with, from somebody that you have known before. Could lead to commitment. Maybe even marriage. These are both marriage cards. A reunion. So I don't know who this is for. Good luck. 